This video will demonstrate how users can override the connection design code checks in SDS2 Connect and still represent connections inside their Revit model through both setup and manual manipulation. Adjusting the schedule of minimums in SDS2 Connect provides the user additional control over how connections are designed. By changing from automatic to yes on the minimum setup connection option, we override the design of the connection based on loads to simply read the number of rows of bolts that we want input on that particular depth of member. In this case we're looking at a W18. We've applied a clip angle connection and now we'll look at the schedule of minimums in our setup. And so for the nominal depth of 18 or W18 we've got three rows of bolts which is the default. We've changed that to four now and by simply editing the connection it will redesign it changing it from three rows to four since that is the new minimum. In the setup options for the schedule of minimums single plate shear connections have a separate window. We'll switch to that now and for W18 nominal depth the default is three and we will change that to five changing the connection type from a clip angle to a shear tab will prompt the redesign of the connection giving us five rows of bolts. Making manual connection adjustments is simple with SDS2 Connect. Once that material is available and there and designed for you to make adjustments to, you can use the connection specifications in the connection edit screen to make minor adjustments in this case changing the vertical brace connection to a paddle plate connection. Once that material is there then we can make further adjustments by changing the connection to a user connection with the checkbox in the upper right hand corner of the connection edit screen. In this case we'll change the thickness of the plate from 5 sixteenths to a half inch. Once you hit OK, the connection will be reprocessed and updated according to your changes. As you can see, when we open up that pedal plate edit window, it maintained our half inch. And we'll make one more change, changing the hole type from a standard round to a long slot. With the update of that long slotted hole, it will add washers and just gives you an example of the kinds of connection changes you can make manually to represent the connections you need to see in your Revit model.